They are among the hottest real estate trends in California right now, and they could help alleviate our housing crisis. So we're talking about accessory dwelling units or so-called backyard homes. But a new study by Stanford shows a lot of them are being built illegally. In fact, researchers used satellite imagery from San Jose and found that between 2016 and 2020, about 78% of ADUs were built without permits. The study is meant to address equity issues. And as our Kenny Choi shows us, some builders are now working in the shadows to create housing for those who need it the most. For fear of losing his contractor's license, this home builder who gave us the name William continues to see illegal dwelling units being built from the peninsula to the South Bay and beyond. They're converting garages, they're doing additions in the back, they're, you know, they're, they're making separate entrances, they're, they're doing what they can to house their family. William asked us to protect his identity. He's built homes for decades, but with skyrocketing prices, lengthy permitting and inspection processes, to name just a few housing barriers, he's been getting requests that put his small business in a difficult position. I have constantly had people call me and ask me, can you do a unit for me? And I said, you know, I really don't want to jeopardize my license. The dozens of homes William has built are above board with the required permits, but he has constructed at least three unpermitted units. The amount of time that it takes to get a permit, get the plans done, go through planning, go through the whole process, it's just so time consuming. It comes as no surprise to Stanford researchers who are looking into informal ADUs. Using satellite images, including Google Earth and other methods of evaluation, researchers at Stanford's Regulation, Evaluation and Governance Lab determined for every legal accessory dwelling unit built in San Jose between 2016 and 2020, there were three to four informal or unpermitted ADUs built. Andrea Velabueno is a data scientist and research fellow. We think it provides uh, just an innovative method um, that can be um, developed at scale, um, just because, of course, it's much easier to, to look at this type of imagery than to, than to do that type of field work. This sample shows images of a backyard in 2016, and then by 2020, a legal ADU added. Researchers used a computer vision model to spot newly constructed ADUs and cross-checked them with official permits. Stanford's Reg Lab randomly chose 15,000 residential parcels. Past surveys in the field using humans looking into illegal backyard units have been limited due to sample sizes in the hundreds. Having been on the ground in communities like East Palo Alto, uh, you see so many unpermitted units. And I felt like that was a big missing piece from official statistics at the city level, at the county level, at the state level. Derek O. Yang is part of the Reg Lab and says the unpermitted detections will never be shared with anyone outside their team to protect the privacy of residents. They determine most of these informal ADUs are being built in dense communities of color with lower income levels. He hopes policymakers will gain a better understanding of the prevalence of unpermitted construction so they can better design programs to help builders and tenants too. If we don't understand how many actual housing units there are in these communities, then the policies we design can be really poorly shaped and sized to really support the families that need support the most. Home builders like William are hoping permitting rules will be tweaked and improved so the process to build above board becomes more efficient, ultimately helping families in need of affordable housing. A lot of these people are putting their family in there and, and to be able to make ends meet in these houses and these inflated housing prices, um, what's the person to do? He would rather build a 100% legal ADU, but the reality is many are still being constructed in the shadows. Researchers say we first need to have an accurate picture of how many illegal ADUs exist or else efforts to incentivize housing may not end up benefiting less affluent households.